Hawa Abdi was a doctor. She was also a humanitarian. Dr. Abdi championed women's rights. She was a mother to two daughters and a son, but mothered thousands of others who needed her care. Dr. Abdi was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize and received many other awards. But she remained humble, staying in Somalia throughout civil war, helping her community. She passed away last week, but her work and her legacy will last for generations. Dr. Abdi's work started out simply as the Rural Health Development Organization in 1983. Dr. Abdi stayed in Somalia throughout the chaos of the 1990s. Her clinic became a hospital, treating the sick and the injured. Her compound in Lower Chabelle became a place to seek refuge for thousands. In 2010, Islamic militants showed up and tried to close her hospital down. But Dr. Abdi held her ground. The terrorists attacked the compound, shelling it and causing many injuries, although only one death. She went on BBC radio by phone, and then the militants arrested her. But when they found out how much support she had, they let her go and ended the assault. They even wrote her a letter of apology. The challenges kept coming. In 2011, her compound housed over 90,000 people on land surrounding her hospital due to severe drought. About that time, local government operatives came to take her land. Dr. Abdi again took to the airwaves to seek help. The attackers left. All the while, Dr. Abdi was constantly trying to reform her society, teaching the dignity of women and opposing domestic violence. She also campaigned against skin bleaching. Her two daughters, Daiko Mohammed and Amina Mohammed, both became doctors and helped her run her hospital and foundation. Deco has become the new face of the foundation. Every morning we have about 400 patients, maybe more or less, but sometimes we are only five doctors and 60 nurses, and we cannot. We are physically getting exhausted to see all of them, but we take the severe one and we reschedule the other ones next day. And it is, it is very tough, and as you can see, it's the woman who carrying the children, it's the woman who come into the hospitals, it's the woman who building the houses, that's their house. And we have a school, this is our bride. Uh, we opened last two years elementary school, where we have 850 children, and majority are women and girls. Women's issues were at the top of her agenda, as Somali traditions, such as FGM or child marriage, can be damaging. But she also campaigned against clan distinctions that have also caused problems for her homeland. We are sharing with them whatever we have, but there is only two rules. First rule, there is no clan distinguished and political division in Somali society. Who make that things we throw out. The second, no man can beat his wife. It will be up to a new generation of Somali women to continue her work. While her two daughters will certainly keep her hospital going, it will take many others to modernize Somalia and bring peace. Women like Deka Yassin, Minister of Women and Human Rights. Like Ilwad Elman of the Elman Human Rights and Peace Center and women like Asha Abdule Siad, chairperson of the Somali Women's Leadership Initiative, who can all take inspiration from the doctor from Lower Shebele, who used her skills and resources 
to make their paths possible.